It's here! It's finally here! The Omega VSA. I've been waiting. Oh, ladies. Oh, ladies is my son, let's say. I finally got my juicer in, guys. So I'm going to do a review, a reveal with you all today. Reviewing the Omega VSA juicer, I believe it's the 8 something something. Uh, this juicer, it I found. So one of my favorite juicers that I follow on Instagram, she is using this juicer. She juices for her and her family. So she usually juices a lot at a time, which is really what I needed. And when we were in Arizona, we were using a like regular juicer. I forgot what really was called, but it heats up and it grinds it up and it just, it heats it up so much that it ends up destroying most of the nutrients in the vegetables and the fruit and stuff. So I wanted to find a masticating one. My husband tried to find us um, the other Omega, the skinny one. I can't remember what it's called. I'll link it down below, but it was um, not, it was a good juicer. It really was a good juicer, but it was not meant to juice a lot at a time. And I need to juice like pitchers or like jars at a time for everybody. And it, it lasts longer in the fridge. So it lasts about three days, two to three days. And with the other one, it only lasts like a, a, a day. It just didn't, it wasn't gonna last in the fridge. So I need to be able to juice every three days for everyone. So I really wanted this juicer. This is my dream juicer. And thanks to my mom and a few friends, they helped us get it. And it's, it's, it is about $400. We did get it off of, uh, I think she got it off of Amazon. I'm not sure, but um, I will link it down below and let you know where you can find it, because I did find it on Amazon. So um, this juicer is a really good juicer. I will link down below my favorite juicer, uh, that juice lady that I follow on Instagram. She always gives me the best ideas. There's two that I like to follow, but she, the one uses this specific juicer and she juices a lot at a time. So that's really why I wanted this juicer. Cause me, my husband and the kids really like to juice. So I just got done working out and um, I really want to do this video just so I can show you guys and unbox it with you guys before I jump in the shower, make a juice and get going for the day. So. Um, this is a masticating juicer. This is the Omega VSJ 843QS. Can you see that? And um, I've been really wanting this juicer. So the other juicer that we had was, it was good, but it wasn't, it was kept clogging and it wasn't, it just wasn't meant to juice what I needed to juice or how much. It was do, meant to do like one cup at a time for people that just want to juice the, uh, the day, for the day and then do it again the next day. And that's just a lot of work for me, being a mom and having a juice for so many people and still do everything else you gotta do. So, um, and we ended up having to send it back and it wasn't working properly, I think it broke and then it's really trying to use it that way. So, I'm gonna unbox it with you guys today. It's really in there. <laughs> so here we go, this is the box that comes in. It looks like this is the first piece. Ugh, this is probably the base here, obviously. It's kind of heavy. Kind of heavy, guys. Ooh, I'll let you know. Feel brown. I don't have great lighting in here. I don't really. The sun doesn't hit these windows like that, and there's a awning over there, so we don't really get sun through here. So I'm using my ring light to show you guys and unbox this. So here's the base. I think it's freaking heavy. And after I'm done unboxing and showing you guys putting it together for you guys, I will make a juice. That's what I was going to do anyway today. I'm super excited to use this thing. I'm waiting for this thing, and I can't believe that I actually ended up getting it. Because this is my dream juicer. For now. So, here are the two containers. Uh, one is obviously for the pulp, and one is for the juice, the texture juice. Which I don't know yet. I should find that with me. me. Okay, we have, this looks like the lid to this. This looks like the thing you push the veggies down with. Here's the brush to clean your thingy. Clean your juicer thingy. 
And that's an empty box. Omega juicer as well, but I can't remember which model it was. But it was the skinny one that's kind of shaped like a dog, like a long waist like this. And it, that was really easy to clean. So I'm not sure how to clean this, but I will show you guys after I make the juice. Because um, I'm going to show you guys how it's used. And then I'll show you guys how to clean it. I'll be able to see after that. So I don't see a little walkie thing. It just sits like that. So. Alright, so it twists off. Like so. Alright. So that's how it goes. So this thing twists on and twists off. On, off, on, off. That's how you get off to clean it. It's gonna lock. Like so. Okay, here's the top. There's the part that you're gonna use to push the vegetables in. Here is the on button, so you're going to on and then reverse, like something gets stuck in there, then you're just going to reverse so it'll push it back out so you can like, you know, unclog it or whatever. And this is a little dusty, we're going to have to wipe it off before we use it. To... Looks like, take it apart. So... It's gonna come right out as well, looks like. Cool beans. Doesn't look too complex. Rubber sides to keep it into place. Strainer's kind of smaller than the like rebuild. But I'm gonna put this thing in action. In action. So it's gonna show you where it matches up so you don't screw it up like I did. Forgive my British accent, it probably sucks. Consider it. Oh. I'm gonna put it in and twist it until those arrows meet up and it locks. And that's how you do that. <laughs> See, it took me about a few minutes. <sighs> so that's gonna be there, guys. Again, like that. One side's gonna catch your juice and one side's gonna be for your pulp. So this looks like it's for the juice because it's got the measurements on there. This looks like it's going to be for your pulp. You can match that up right there. There's a little handle. Handle. Lid. So what I do, you're going to see this moment. I'm going to juice it until I fill up a pitcher. Because I'm going to mix it up really well. And then fill up my jars. Into individual jars. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to plug this bad boy in. Wipe it off real quick. Clean my sink and cut my vegetables. And then we will go ahead and make one of the recipes that I got from uh, juice recipes. Nice and slow. Okay, we'll be right back, let's go. And we're back. All right, so I have cut up all my vegetables and fruit, apples, and set it up here. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And we're gonna be trying it out with another one of Tracy Sloan's juice recipes. We're gonna go with Liquid Sunshine. It's one of the newer ones she has on her Instagram page. 
So go, go ahead and check her out on her Instagram, which is at Drew's Recipes. And this involves, this liquid sunshine involves six carrots. I had to write this down. I gotta write all the good ones down. This is my recipe book. <laughs> six carrots, one sweet potato, a half a lemon, two apples, one pinch of ginger, which is the knuckle, like this much, one orange and two celery. So since I juice for me and my husband and my kids, I'm gonna triple that amount. So I'm just going to do three times the amount of these. So that's the recipe. And I have already cut, skinned my lemon and oranges. Here is the whole batch here. I don't want it to leak everywhere, so. Um, here's my whole batch. I'm gonna and get all this going. It's on. It's like it's not locked in. Alright, so here's my bowl. Usually I would use a pitcher, but I don't have an extra one because I'm currently using one for tea and one for water. Strawberry water. So I'm gonna dump it all in there and then mix it up and then put it in my juice. So let's get started. I always have my aloe gel. Like I said, I always put aloe gel in my juices and in my smoothies for gut health. So, um, let's just get to it. Good idea guys, real fast before we continue, your sweet potatoes and your carrots are really good for your dogs. So you can add it to your dog food when you're feeding them in the morning. What I do is I end up putting them aside in a plastic bag and in the morning when I feed them, I kind of add the uh, little leftover pulp to their food. Um, I know it's kind of, you know, you're gutting it to get all the juices out of it, but it's still good for them and it makes it taste good. It's just something a little extra you can add to their food. Side note, anyway, back to it. Okay, so I did have to open it up just for a second to unclog it. Celery always seems to freaking unclog these. Or clog these. So when I did the celery, clogged it up a little bit with that strength crap. So it's okay, but that's, that's the only thing that seems to be given this is back on top. I'm trying to get it super dirty for this video. Normally this is not a clean job, guys, so just, just, just keep that in mind. Alright, now that I put everything back together, I'm gonna let it run for a few seconds without putting anything else in there, just to kind of let it push that stuff through. I mean, it was the celery. Look at that string, stringiness. It seems to get it stuck almost every time. I don't want to stick the strings back in there, but I don't want to leave out the celery either. So we'll see what happens when I put that piece of string in there.
So now I'm gonna let it run for just a few more minutes or a few more seconds actually, just to kind of get anything that's left over because it's still pushing pulp out of there. And then that'll be our first use. That is how you use the Omega DSJ. This bad boy works so good. It's not as slow as it seems, but it's slow enough to not kill all the freaking nutrients and get the job done and make a larger batch like I need. The pulp all comes out. It's pretty dry, besides the oranges and the citrus and stuff. It's kind of sticky. It's still a little juicy. I did see somebody actually put the pulp back in there and then redo it, but because there's celery in there, I'm not gonna do that because it clogs the crap out of it. So if you wanted to, you could probably do that and just run it right through there. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna toss this stuff out because you don't wanna give some of these to your dogs. And then I'm going to pour it into my juice, mix it up, and then jar them up. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good clean and let you guys watch so you can see how to clean it, okay? So let's do that real quick. Myers, <laughs> I reused the bottle. I love Mrs. Myers, but I needed the bottle to catch it. This is my handy dandy soap. This is a mixture of vinegar, half vinegar, half Dawn dish soap. It's a great mixture. If you ever try it, let me know. It's amazing. It cleans super good. It's super concentrated. Yes, it's got a teeny little bit of vinegary smell. You smell more Dawn, I think, than anything. But it works, and I use it for friggin' everything. It cleans things so this water eating up my skin and my nails. Here we are. Let's unplug it first. We're gonna go ahead and take it apart again. So I'm twist the top here. Like so. Okay. Now it says. There's three ways to clean this. Untwist this middle part here out of the strainer filter thingy. The diggy. I'm gonna twist it a few times so it pops in there easily. So there you have it. Look at that. All that's stuck in there. There's that piece. There's your strainer, right? Bing, bing, boom. I'm just gonna pull this part out of here, just like that, like so. So it says there was three ways to clean this thing. If you were gonna do another batch of juices, you could have easily just kept it assembled like you had it and just poured hot water in the top here, like this. It was still together, guys. Just gonna put hot water in there and run it through so it just kind of rinses it out. And not for you to do the second batch or whatever, you know, if you're doing more than one juice. This is dishwasher safe. So I'm getting ready to leave soon and do another video before I leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the top rack. That's what it says. You wanna rinse it, of course. So it's dishwasher safe. Or if you wanted to wash it by hand, by all means, you're gonna do that. It says to soak it. I would use my handy dandy cleaner over here. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the pieces off because I'm gonna put them in the dishwasher. Dishwasher safe, guys. Just put them on the top rack so it doesn't get ruined. The other Omega that we were using was dishwasher safe as well. Empty that up. What? There's a levee right there. See how it's kind of clogged in? You're going to lift the levee, or the little plug, I guess it's safe, a little plug, and open it up. Cause that pulp was being pushed through through the top. So here's the little plug to unplug it so you can clean it out and rinse it. And or rinse it, I guess. Okay, back to my juice. Since I had to pour it all into, this would have been so much easier in a picture, but I don't have an extra one right now. So, this one's right there. Oh. All right, so, so I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm going to add them to my jars here. This is what I'm gonna have for a snack later. I'm gonna take one to my husband while he is at work for the 4th of July. Mm. 
pretty sour right now. Sweet, but zingy because of the ginger. Mm. It's good though. Man, your body's gonna thank you later. That's our juices. And that's our Omega. That's our Omega VSJ 843. This thing is bomb. I highly recommend you getting one of these because it works amazing. Amazing. You guys saw it there, how it worked, how easy it was to clean, and it's gonna hold a lot more nutrients than the other juicers that get really hot, and I can't remember what they're called right now, but you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Um, that's it. That's our review on the VSJ. We liked it a lot. Highly recommend it. We'll be using this bad boy all the time. If you guys wanna see more of our juice recipes that we make for the family, you can definitely check out uh, more videos on my channel. I have tons of uh, juicing recipe videos that I get from other juicers like Tracy Sloan off of Instagram. Go ahead and check her out and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.